I'm in my fucking bikinis. But anyway, just why I say, turning 30 with osteogenesis imperfecta was a real big deal to me. Um, I was told at the age of five or six that I would be lucky if I wasn't in a wheelchair by the age of 30. So I'm on holiday um, on my actual birthday, April the 8th, um, I turned 30. I was shocked. I cried. I cried happy tears. Um, I just, I knew I would prove to myself that I'm not going to let this disability stop me anymore. I've, I've made so many sacrifices with this disability, I just, it shouldn't, I, I shouldn't do it anymore. So from now on, I'm just going to be me. If you want to see my humpy spine, there it is. There it is. Take your screenshots, take, do whatever you want. I don't really give a fuck anymore. See the bad comments. Um, they just start very low on the radar for me. I think turning 30 was like a big shift in my brain or something, if I can say that, a big shift in my brain. But I don't know, I'm just like, I'm really thankful. I'm thankful to the aliens, to the gods, Whatever's out there, I'm really thankful <coughs> that I'm not in the wheelchair, that I am still here, I'm still able to talk, I'm still able to communicate with you. Let's go out here and see what Green's at. Who's he barking at? But yeah, I just, I wanted to say a thank you for being with me and being on my channel and he was barking at somebody just walking past he thinks he's a pit bull or something <laughs> but yeah um i think turning 30 actually has given me more strength in my mind if that's if that is something but i feel like I've gotten a lot, lot stronger in my mind. Um, on holiday, I met this couple, amazing, amazing couple. Um, they just talked a lot, a lot of sense, and they talked what other people were actually telling me anyway, but I didn't take it in, but it took this gorgeous couple to actually get into my head and make me actually see that you only have one life. So I'm just, I'm so thankful for everything that I have, even though I don't even have much. I'm just thankful for everything that I have. I'm thankful I'm like walking, I'm thankful that I'm just being me. Um, I'm just, I'm just happy now that at the age of 30, um, I've actually just got it into my head that I don't give a fuck anymore about comments. You can hate on me, you can bitch on me. You can do whatever the fuck you want on me because it's not going to knock me down. It's not going to knock my self-esteem down. It's not going to knock anything in my head down. I am just, I'm just happy being me. And I didn't sleep last night, if you can tell. I didn't sleep. It was hard to sleep. Women, problems, if you get me. <laughs> but anyway, this is why I say I'm 30. Yes. And now, now I am just 
realise and I don't give a fuck anymore about the nasty comments, the nasty people out there that just want to put you down, bring themselves up. Why? I don't care anymore. Comment all the fuck you want of being nasty because I'm going to read it, but it's not going to knock me down anymore. So, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> thank you for being you, for being nice. You, so, There's so many of you on my YouTube channel. It is so fucking nice. It is unreal. Like, I actually had a cry about it there about an hour ago. It's taken me, like, four or five times to, like, do this. You know, when I'm not even doing nothing, but I'm just so thankful that I have real nice people that are commenting. I know there's still some nasty ass bad comments, but hey, you get that everywhere, don't you? Um, but yeah, I'm thankful I have turned 30. Yes, I feel strong. I feel strong today. I feel strong, but like I'm not strong. I got wee muscle. <laughs> oh my god, I feel strong. Like not just strong in my body, strong in my mind. Like really strong in my mind, and it's making me, it's making me kind of scared because I've never, I've never felt so good in my mind before. So I think maybe um. It is the age thing too, the 30, I'm 30 now. I went to my galoof at 29 and I came back 30. And I seem to have just got a grip on my thoughts just as I turned 30. So yeah, um, if any of you out there who has passed 30 not so long ago or a year or two ago, um, did anything feel different with you? I think maybe it feels different with me because of what I was told that I would be in a wheelchair and stuff by now but I'm so thankful to aliens and the gods or whatever else out there is that I'm here. So I'm touching wood, touching wood nothing happens. Every day is a challenge, but hey, that's what living with osteogenesis actually is. Every day, every day walking is a challenge. Green! And like a good week after I'm back. But yeah, thank you so much for even being here. I'm sorry I'm just rambling on, but I'm so appreciative. I appreciate I can't even say it. I'm so thankful that I have a lot more people now that I can actually put my thoughts and my time into now. If you if you get what I'm saying, I don't know what even what I'm saying. It's just the fact of turning thirty. It feels like my brain cells has actually like floated away and new brain cells come in and um. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to let anybody, anybody put me down anymore. So thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe because we're going to go and do some like, some traveling videos somewhere. Oh my God, my eyes are terrible today. My eyes are pure terrible. But anyway, I want to say peace and love. Love yous. Love yous. And thank you for even being here. Peace. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I